Hello class, this is the video lecture for chapter 63. The topic is Leonard Bernstein, American composer and American musical theater. I'm going to open the PowerPoint. So, uh, the roots of American musical theater lie both in vaudeville shows and in European opera. What were vaudeville shows? Vaudeville shows developed out of the minstrel shows. I think we talked about them earlier in the semester. And vaudeville was a huge industry before radio and TV. And um, it was entertainment, it was comedy. And uh, a typical show would be two or three hours long and it uh, at the theater they might put the show on two or three times during the day and each show was was um, um, would start with uh, simple acts that were not very good and, um, and because people would be coming into the theater and then they would move up to um, and as time passed, the theaters, the acts got more, uh, the higher in quality. And then there was an intermission, and after intermission was the headliner. The main uh, reason that people went to the show was to see a, a particular singer or, or an act that was really famous. And then after that, the shows would uh, get down in quality until people would encourage them to leave. and. Um, then there would be a short break, 10 or 15 minutes, and then they would start the show again. And if you wanted, you could stay for more than one show. Uh, the acts were controlled by agents, and uh, an act might, if they were the headliner, they might be at a theater for six months or longer. And if you were just a uh, lesser quality act, you might be performing uh, at one theater in one city and the next day or the next several days another theater in another city so you traveled a lot and these acts would travel all across the united states and this was vaudeville now regarding musicals right uh they're like an opera with lighter music in a way because um there are soloists and there's duets there's a there's a a, a storyline and um the first musicals or the early musicals that were trying to sell music and so they would have a featured song that they were trying to sell the music to and they might be performed two or three times and then at intermission and before and after the show the uh sheet music would be sold and like now we would be buying cds at that time they would be buying sheet music and if you could sell a million of anything you are quite an ex success and so uh, there were many uh, pieces of sheet music that were million sellers. Uh, later, the, the musicals became fully developed into uh, complex storylines with dance numbers and um, high quality music, but different than classical music. And of course, the golden age of the American musical, the mid 1900s, was characterized by composer lyricist teams. You had people like George and Ira Gershwin, Lerner and Lowe, Rogers and Hammerstein, many of these teams where one would be the writer of the music and the other one the writer of the words. Uh, just to show you here, uh, the Broadway musicals share, here we go. Okay, so this is New York area, and this is Manhattan, right? It's an island. Over here is uh, what they call the East River. It's really not a river. It just goes from the Hudson River, and then it goes this direction. <clears throat> but to show you in uh, Broadway, we call it, but Broadway is a street that goes along the whole, uh, here's Broadway, right? Broadway, 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 all the way up Manhattan. Broadway, Broadway, okay? all the way up here. Manhattan is a big island. And it goes down uh, this way, Broadway. <clears throat> so, uh, but when we talk about 
Broadway, we're talking about the theater district, which is um, Times Square area, right? And if I open up the map here, Times Square, you start to see, see theaters, right? Minskoff Theater, Palace Theater, 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 clubs, right? If I zoom in further, you probably didn't see more, but this is the what we call Broadway, but it's actually at, at the Times Square area, 46th Street, 47th Street. So anyway, that's uh, what we call Broadway musicals. So if I go back to share the other one. Okay, back to uh, the PowerPoint on chapter 63. Now regarding Leonard Bernstein, uh, he was a conductor and a composer. <clears throat> he wrote the music for West Side Story, which is basically the story of Romeo and Juliet from Shakespeare. And you know that it's a love story. And it's uh, this uh, updated version takes place in New York City and it involves gang warfare. Oops. Blackface, very weird part of American entertainment. And you can't deny it, and it's, uh, but it's also not, not something to be proud of. Anyway, um, so. Musicals and fe a feature, right? Romantic plots, comic moments, appealing melodies, large ensembles, dance numbers, mostly spoken dialogue. And Leonard Bernstein uh, was a composer and a conductor. He conducted the New York Philharmonic Orchestra for many years, uh, was an author, a music lecturer, and a pianist. He was among the first conductors born and educated in the United States to receive worldwide acclaim. He was hired and uh, to be a guest conductor at worldwide orchestras. According to this critic, Leonard Bernstein was one of the most prodigiously talented and successful musicians in American history. Wikipedia. So he was born in 1918 in Massachusetts and he died in New York in 1990. That would put him at 72. Uh, he wrote an awful lot of music. He wrote film scores, uh, of course, musicals. We're gonna sample his West Side Story from 1957. He wrote uh, ballets, a lot of orchestral works. Here he is, Lenny, as he was called by his friends. Uh, by accident, he became a famous conductor because he was a, uh, sometimes a conductor will have a, an assistant that actually rehearses the orchestra and prepares the, the, the orchestra. And he was an assistant that, that did that. And at the last minute, the main conductor was ill and Leonard Bernstein was asked to take his place. And he did, and he did a great job and started his career as a conductor. Uh, he did a lot of uh, teaching and, and promoting of classical music, and we'll sample some of his um, uh, presentations on pieces of music in another lecture. So we're going to listen to his piece of music called West Side Story, West Side of Manhattan. And uh, the story involves two street gangs, one the Sharks, which is a Puerto Rican group, and the Jets, which is a white group. And this was um, a common uh, environment in New York at the time with these types of gangs. And so uh, the story involves Tony, right, and Maria. And Maria is the sister of one of the gang leaders, and Tony was from the other gang. And uh, they fall in love, and it doesn't make any sense for um, 
the sister of one gang leader to be in love with a member of another gang, which was the storyline. And it um, involves their relationship. And then the end of the story is when uh, Tony and um, the other uh, gang member get into a fight. And so Maria was going to lose either way. She was going to lose her brother or her boyfriend. And the, the one is killed. I can't remember which one. But it's a sad ending to a musical, which is very unusual. And some say that this musical West Side Story is the greatest Broadway musical ever written. So um, it has elements of jazz, early rock and roll in 1957. Uh, and just to give you an, an example of how serious the gang problem was in New York at the time, uh, rumble was a word that was a euphemism for a fight between gangs. <clears throat> and a famous rock musician, uh, Link Ray, who invented the power chord, wrote a song called The Rumble. And uh, it was not played in New York for many years because the uh, community was worried that it would promote gang fights. And there was a film made of the West Side Story in 1961. So here is um, painting Romeo and Juliet. This is um, from the play itself, from the musical, right? The two characters. And this is a dance scene, the rival gangs, the Sharks and the Jets dance in the 2007 production of West Side Story. These musicals are oftentimes put on again and again, years later, <clears throat> because they're just great works of art. And then when you do something like this, uh, you can change things as far as the setting and uh, the scenery. Uh, you're not going to change the, the musical, but you might change the dance, dancing quite a bit, but not the music. <clears throat> so we're going to have some excerpts on this. First one is Act One, The Dance at the Gym. It's a, a mambo. It's actually called mambo. Fast-paced African-Cuban dance. And notice the highly syncopated Latin beats, bongos, cowbells, jazzy riffs, woodwinds and brass, excited voices and hand clapping. All right, here we go. Uh, act one, dance at the gym, mambo. And notice there, there's two groups here, right? From the different time of the gangs. They may go to the same high school, but there, there's a lot of tension and, and they're trying to break the tension, but uh, take note of that.
And now this is uh, the next example from the textbook. Uh, the song Tonight, right? Which it turns out to be a quintet, five people singing. The Jets are gonna have their day tonight. The Jets are gonna have their way tonight. The Puerto Ricans grumble, fair fight. But if they start a rumble, we'll rumble them right. We're gonna hand them a surprise tonight. We're gonna cut them down to size tonight. We said, okay, no rumpus, no tricks. But just in case they jump us, we're ready to mix tonight. We're gonna rock it tonight. We're gonna jazz it up and have us a ball. They're gonna get it tonight. The more they turn it on, the harder they fall. Her kicks tonight. We'll have a private little mix tonight. He'll walk in hot and tired, poor dear. Don't matter if he's tired, as long as he's here. Tonight, tonight won't be just any night. Tonight there will be no morning star. Tonight, tonight. I'll see my love tonight, and for us, stars will stop where they are. Oh, the minutes in my go, the hours go so slowly, and still the sky is light. Oh, moon, grow bright, and make this endless day. Coming out on top tonight. We're gonna watch Bernardo drop tonight. The Puerto Rican punk will go down, and when he's hollered, Uncle will tear up the town. We'll be in back of you, boy. Right. You're gonna flatten him good. Right. Then we'll have us a ball tonight. We're gonna rock it tonight. We're gonna jazz it tonight. We're gonna dance it We're gonna mix it tonight. Those are the excerpts from West Side Story, and that concludes Chapter 63, Leonard Bernstein.